Today we have a massive unboxing for you guys in here. We have not one, not two, but nine boxes to nine. look at. Nine. nine. All right, loads. Big unboxing. So, make sure you don't miss out on all of our latest content. Turn on notifications and make sure you're subscribed. Where are we going to start, Blake? What do you want to start with? I we've got Nike, we've got Adidas, we've got some one. mystery boxes. Yes. This one's a bit of a mystery box, isn't it? It is a mystery box. All right, all right. Does anyone know what that is? Let's see what we've got. Ooh. Put a few clues in there that we might just take out of the way. What's this all about? Laces. Laces, strange. All right. And a shoehorn, so maybe it's hard to put on. That one's there for you. Maybe okay. put your thumb over that bit there. Yeah. Oh! Guys might have seen a little peek in the background. Well, what do you guys think of these? Do you know what it is? Nice little bit of coordination between the box and um, yeah, it's a very nice presentation box really. So what's so special about these Shoehorn. boots? These are the first laceless boots that we've seen in leather. Yes. And they are from the Double Diamonds Umbro. Umbro have got a laceless leather boot. I tell you what, I'm really impressed with these. Saw the pictures, was kind of interested, wonder what they're going to be like. They're very light for a leather boot. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the one thing I, I first sort of uh, got with these boots. Very lightweight. Now we know that Adidas are coming up with their laces leather boot coming soon. And Adidas did do um, the, what was it, the Pure Chaos, which came in leather, the spaceship one. Yes, yes. Or so, spacecraft. As you can see on the sock liner, Medusa 3 Elite, laces leather. leather. Laceless. Wow. Yeah, these are really nice. There's a really big, like, grippy section in the heel here because one of the main things with laceless boots is um, heel slippage. And they've addressed that with a real big bit of grip through there. Yep. And they're really nice as well. It has a very nice shape to it. Yes, it's got the same sole plate as the Velocita, which is brand new as well. So maybe yes. a bit narrow, but they look they look nice. So Pepe is going to be the big name wearing these. Yes. He's all over the launch of them and you're going to see him on pitch with these. Yes. Great boot, I think. Really interested to give these go on pitch. They feel really nice, as we said. Shall we have a look and see what we've got in some of these other boxes? Let's do it. What a start. What a start. What is a number two? Where what to do we next? want to go next? Guys want a bit of Adidas, a bit of Nike. Oh, let's... Maybe here? Yeah, let's go Nike. Got the white and the gold. White and the gold. Okay. Pull that off. Does now that, that give is it a nice away? bag. Can, does that give it away? Lots of tens. Here we go. All right, so check this bag out. It is beautiful. And yes. look at the, it's the, it's real the paper nice. in this box as well. It's really nice. Gold strings. Extra Lovely. little touches going along. Blake, what have we here? I think we're looking at one of the best remakes of all time. Wow, that's quite a bold claim. I we don't are think looking I'm wrong. at a limited edition. There's a thousand pairs being made. This is pair 0077. Yes. I don't think anybody's going to wear these on pitch, apart from Ronaldinho maybe in... Um, some kind of testimonial type matches. Yeah. Fun ones like that. But these are beautiful. Oh, these are stunning. These fold over tongue, and there you have this little yeah. celebration. A little bit of Velcro underneath. Oh, and yeah, the celebration underneath as well. Love that. The sock liner's nice. It's lovely. Yeah, it's very well put together. Nice use of leather on these. Nice um, stitching and stuff. So they're based on an older the Air, Air Le Legend. The Air Legend 10 hours. So That's right. The first ones that came out in 2005. So everyone remembers that first video on YouTube that had a million views, so. Oh, with Ronaldinho the hitting the crossbars. Yeah, that's right. Yes. So you've got the gold to the silver fade on the sole here. Yeah, that's probably my favorite thing about these boots. I, I really like this, um, the, the gold swoosh tied in with the upper. It's yep. really nice. Ronaldinho gets some really nice leather remakes, doesn't he? He probably gets the best remakes, you know, in terms of quality, you know, like. Yes, with the leather boots for sure. Yes, these these are stunning. Very nice. So happy we've got these. And then is a little um, Allegria written in the inside there. Yes. And nice little details and stuff inside the boot. I'm not going to mean. I'm not going to pronounce that in Portuguese. I can't say that. Papal. All right. Okay. What amazing? Boot? Amazing. All right, we've got lots more to look at, so we're going to tuck these away. Yes. And we'll move on. We will be asking you guys what your favourite boot is in this old unboxing, so bear these ones in mind. Yes. Like, where shall we go I, next? I feel like I want to dig deep here. I want to go with this red one underneath. You're going to look at this red box? Yes. All right. Okay, well, does that give it away? Probably I does. I do. Here is the, the boot bag. bag. That probably that gives, gives you away the, the colours away, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. All right, one for you there. Okay, so we are looking at the Furon 4.0 Pro in a Horizon Pack colorway. 
Yeah, so there's a tech that has a similar colorway that goes with this, yep? Yes. I, I really rate the colorway. It's yellow to black, a bit of a green tinge as well. But I think this is stunning. This is lovely. It's a perfect colorway for this boot. Another fade on the sole plate. It's obviously yeah. the kind of in thing to be doing at the moment, but they do look good. Yes. I don't, I don't even know if it'll fade off, let it wear off. I think it's it's going to stay like yeah. that. Potentially the way they've made it. Yeah, very but nice. Very lightweight speed boots. Obviously, uh, Sadio Mane will headline this. For yeah, he's a big man for New Balance, isn't he? Yes. So it's good they've got a big player to them. Yes. They've never Somebody had that who's player, actually so. wearing them for sure. Yes, I really rate this boot. It's definitely the best Furon so far. You're going to be testing these out on pitch sometime soon. Yeah, Wednesday night. So we are uh, lacing these up. Interesting. I'm actually noticing there's just a little bit of a flake on here. Um, so I think they sprayed the black on top of the yellow. So the yellow is plastic and the black oh, so will the black fade will off fade. over time yeah, and it will come back well. and it will be um, a, more of a yellow sole. Yes. So it's interesting, kind of almost the reverse of what you'd expect. Yeah. So I, like I think that's quite nice because I think it's a good idea to have a sole plate that will look good once it fades over time. Sometimes they just crack and look terrible. Yeah, like a silver underneath. So think about what they're going to look like because people are going to wear them for a whole season. You want them to look good. Yes, of course. So what? Right, where should we go now? Adidas? One. Let's get this big yeah, green box out of the way. Green box. You guys know what this one is? Part of the limited collection. Yes. Predator on top. Predator bag, there we go. All right, excited to see what's inside. Oh, there's a little PP on this uh, paper. I'm trying to get in here without some soft liners. Army green. What do we think of those? Wow. There you go. Unique. I've said, I've said this to you before, these boots are certainly unique. There's that PP we're talking about. Paul Pogba, in. season four, on the Predator 18 Plus. With this interesting design that comes up. Certainly interesting. I almost felt like they looked like they kind of were just a bit dusty, a bit muddy, a bit mucky the first time I saw them. Yes. When they hasn't get... quite grown on me yet. No, not quite. But I like everything else about the boot. The, the gradient on the uh, Adidas three stripes. Look like that. PPs on the nip and on the back there. Little touches are really nice. Soul plate's quite nice with the gold, combined plate. with the black. It's the best part. It's going to flake off over time, probably just go back to the black, I would imagine. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's quite a nice launch. So the only person you're going to see wearing these is Pogba himself. Yes, Paul Pogba. So obviously these are be, will be the limited collection, right? So yes. Um, not available. No, and he'll have the rest of his um, collection as well. So there'll be other clothing and the indoors and course, the trainers and stuff that goes well. with yep. this whole collection. But overall, quite a nice release from Adidas for Pogba, yeah, um, think, but perhaps room for some improvement coming into next season yeah. and the Predator 19s. Yeah, describe the boot perfectly. It'd be great to see a kind of black gold one come back. Yes. A little bit of gold on here, a bit of black, but maybe take the green out or dark olive, mm -hmm. as we could refer it what to. What is our next boot? All right, we've got another white box here. Now, I just want to have a big shout out to the guys at Ultra Football. They are hooked up with a lot of the boots in this box. If you want to get 10% off your new boots, then make sure you head over to Ultra Football and use the discount code FBUK10. We are going to have a quick look in this box Woo. Now, there's not much to say about these, no. apart from they are the Ronaldinho's, but you can get a trainer variant as well. And there's just a few really nice differences and touches. Like, look at the um, sole of these. It's got those 10 put into it. And they're just really nice quality. Lunalon is their uh, sensational sole material Nike use, and I've got it on this, so. Thousand pairs of these as well. These are one, three, four out of the thousand. A lot of the other stuff is very similar on these, so we won't take and spend too much time looking at them. No. But it is a really nice make. I like this heel detail actually on these as well. It's, I was, I'm gonna say this is the highest quality indoor silo you can get from Nike. The problem is, is that it doesn't have a lot of um, protection for playing indoor. You are gonna trash them quite quickly. It's almost lifestyle, isn't it? But they, yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're nice. Really All right, stunning. let's move on to another box because we've got more stuff to get into. Where are we going to go next? What Shall we have a look under here? One? Yes, let's go under the bottom here. All right, so, it's been a lot of uh, white boots in this video. Wow, okay. So this- Tell the guys about these, what are these? Does anyone know what this is? Straight from the top, they can see the logo on the side. This is of course- Comes with a little bag. Concave halo and a white out colorway. I think it's nice and clean. Be good for your sort of summer football. So the unique thing with these is this power element that they put on top of the laces. Concave element, that's what they call. Yeah, and it also these ones have like extra stuff here as well. It's a bit like an old school Predator or a yeah. Mizuno Wave Ignitus or something. Yeah, exactly. So it's for curve and spin on your shots, is it? Yeah, exactly. And up at synthetic, sole plate is 
It looks quite nice with that halo underneath. Yeah, the sole plate is quite nice on these. Not too bad with the design, there's a little bit of grey through here. But overall, nothing too special here. Nothing, um, nothing much happening with them, but a, a clean release if you're into this kind of thing. Yes. All right. Where shall we go next? So we shall go. To... Oh, let's have a look at this Adidas box that we got tucked up here. Okay. We got one, two, three to go. Okay. So um, I actually don't know what's in this. All right. What is in this? So this is a little bit of something special. Okay. Wow. Okay. You ever seen those before? And the reason. Yes. Hold on to that one. The reason we're showing you guys these is because we have an awesome Halloween-inspired boot video coming up at the end of the month and I want you guys to make sure you subscribe, make sure you've got your notifications on because in that video we're going to show you a pair of boots that I reckon is probably even better than these yeah. that we made um, and yeah so anyway tell you guys about these ones whilst we got them they are the FF F50 tattoo pack they were headlined by Luis Suarez at the time when he was at Adidas yes. now he's gone to Puma exactly. um, but stunning boots anything special um, we could say about these one is love and one is hate. Yeah. Obviously, it's got a completely different upper from the standard F5805 that was released in 2015. But the transparent sole plate shows you the design underneath, which is a really nice kind of touch. I think. Um, and this has got the roses and the heart and everything going on. And this one's got yeah kind of skeleton face definitely and checkers and stuff. Definitely can't be wearing these on the pitch. But no, beautiful collector's item, not yes. to be worn, to yes. be collected. They look stunning. Okay, well, right guys, so two more boxes to go. Before we get there, I want to ask people what their favourites are because okay. I know what's in those two boxes. We're going to go in this box, what's your favourite? Is it the um, the leather laceless from Puma? Yep. Is it the Pogba's? Is it, where are they? The Ronaldinho's. The Ronaldinho's, so that's one, two, three. Is it these? Or is it? Or what should we throw in? You know what, let's have a look in this box and we'll throw this into the poll card. Okay, this will be the last one in the poll card, so remember to vote. And also, We've still got these coming up. There is, there are boots in this box this time. Okay, so I open the box up. Yeah, it's a very unique box. Have a little string bag here. Nice little design on that. And what do we see inside? Again, another white boot. But this is concave again, and it is the Volt Plus knit. So their first ever knitted boot in a white hat color. What do you think? Um, yeah, they're gonna get dirty very quickly. I can't say that these are my favorite um, boots. I just think they're kind of yeah. a couple, couple of years back in um, development almost compared to other brands. Yes. They have just brought out um, a pink pair. I think pink, pink one, pink yes, pair. for uh, um, cancer, so. But yeah, so anyway guys, vote in the poll card now. Tell us your favorite. Is it these? I say no. Um, Blake, which is your favorite? Pogba's, R10s, I, I think New these, Balance, I New Juicers? There's one obvious winner here, and that's the Ronaldinho's. You know what, I think the Ronaldinho's are nice, but these Umbros yep. are such a surprise, and I just think that they look great, and I'm really excited to have a go with them. Yep. So I'm actually gonna say these are my favorites. Okay. Right, guys, let's have a look in this box. Okay, now. Blue box, have no idea. A little wow. bit something special. So, okay. just it's hold that one like that for me. That's right. Okay, yep. and I've got this one like that. These are boots that we made for Cristiano Ronaldo at Juventus. If you want to see the full details of these boots and how we made them, then go click on the card now and you can go watch that video. Go but that pretty much wraps us up in this video. Thanks for watching. Go enjoy your football.